safety first. Today, we're gonna make a rustic butternut squash caramelized onion tart. I'm Christina Kuzmich. Life is sticky. Motherhood is sticky, relationships are sticky, finances, pressures, judgments, blah. It's all very sticky. And so are my favorite foods. Let's stop wasting time trying to make everything perfect and instead embrace the sticky chaos and still make something delicious out of it. In each episode, I'm gonna give you a recipe to eat and a recipe to live. Life is sticky. Dig in. First, we're gonna throw these sliced onions into that pan with a little bit of olive oil and salt, and then we're just gonna let them chill out. They're basically sitting on the beach for about 30 minutes until they get caramel in color. Let's do this. All right, I'm gonna throw these in here. We got a little olive oil. All you need to make great caramelized onions is time. Just low temperature and time. Every once in a while, you can come back and stir them and then just let them be. You know what I mean? The way I want my kids sometimes, just, just let me be, just let me be. I'm much sweeter and caramelly <laughs> when you just let me be. Are my kids watching this? All right, now while those are some bathing, I have about a pound of butternut squash. It has been peeled, seeded, diced, and then I put it on foil with cooking spray. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil on there and approximately half a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm gonna give it a little back rub because 2020 has been stressful for everyone, even squash. Okay, we're gonna roast this in a 375 degree oven for about 20 to 30 minutes until it is soft and delicious. Okay, so while that's roasting, I'm going to get the rest of the filling ingredients for our tart. We're gonna do two teaspoons of fresh sage. Now if you don't wanna buy fresh sage or you don't like fresh things or whatever, you can use ground sage, just use like a third of the amount. I'll throw these into a bowl. And then we're gonna do one garlic clove. And then we're gonna do three quarter cup of Havarti cheese or Monterey Jack. Mix that up. And then we're gonna add to that the onions and the butternut squash. I have no idea why I'm still wearing these. Maybe because I look super sexy, right? <laughs> All right, so while we wait for the rest of the ingredients to cook up, I'm going to roll out the dough. Now listen to me, people. You can buy store-bought dough. I will not judge you for it. But if you love yourself, like if your self-esteem is really good, you're gonna make my homemade pie dough, which is on my website, and you're gonna thank me. Okay, so I made this last night, and I'm just gonna roll it out in a little bit of flour. Just gonna roll it out, roll it out. Now listen, there are fancy people who are gonna tell you have to roll it into a perfect circle. Some of them will even take like cookie cutters and make all pretty little toppings with their pie dough. Good for them! But you know what? We're not making a perfect tart, we are making a rustic tart. Rustic like my body, okay? Rustic like my stomach after birthing three children. I have so many stretch marks, you guys. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but I feel like my stomach should be like an art piece in a museum, okay? And I used to be self-conscious. I used to be like, oh my gosh, my, my stretch marks look like scars. And then I realized, oh, excuse me, scars are sexy. I mean, come on, Seal, Jason Momoa, Joaquin Phoenix, Harry Potter, right? I mean, think about it. A guy gets into a brawl at a bar and he beats some dude up, almost kills him, and he ends up with a scar. What is he gonna do? He's gonna tell everyone he knows about that scar. He's gonna show it off and be like, you wanna know how I got this one? I almost killed some dude. You know how I got my scars? I did the opposite. I didn't almost kill someone, I gave someone life. Yeah, I made humans, like legit, real humans. What has that dude made lately? A sandwich? And does it have a pulse? I created people. What has he created? A new Facebook password. So that's what we're going for here. We're going as flawed as my body. Now let's get that butternut squash and caramelized onions and make the start. We're gonna add that to our filling mixture and then we're gonna add to that the caramelized onions. Can we just talk about this? Can we just talk about this? Have you seen anything more beautiful? Like, I know that you think that your newborn child is beautiful, but have you put your newborn child's face next to this? Huh? 
This could win a beauty pageant right here. And then we're gonna mix all that up really well. You kinda wanna smush it a little bit to break up that butternut squash. We're gonna add this to our dough. And again, we're not going for perfection here. Like I have been known, speaking of perfection, to buy a perfectly wonderful, beautiful dresser and then spend literally hours sanding it to make it look distressed. My stomach has that shabby chic distressed look and I didn't have to take a sander to it. <laughs> yeah. So just fold over these edges. It can be messy. I mean, look at this dart. It's got some stretch marks right here, definitely some heavy cellulite, wrinkles, and it's still beautiful. Now listen, if you have stretch marks or cellulite and you're going to the beach, then you definitely gotta cover those up, you know? With sunscreen, because you don't want them to burn. That's painful. Now let's bake this freaking rustic tart. You're gonna put it in a 375 degree oven for approximately 30 minutes or until golden brown. This smells like fall, but to be honest, I make this all year round. You know why? Because I love myself. Don't point a knife at yourself. All right, we're gonna cut it and we're gonna indulge. And remember when looking at your imperfect tart, that next time you're like, oh, I don't have the right body to do that thing or I don't have the right body to wear that outfit or my body's not ready for a swimsuit. Do you have a body? then it's ready, okay? So do what you love and flaunt those scars. Recipe to eat, butternut squash caramelized onion tart. For the full recipe, go to christinakuzmich.com. Recipe to live. No need to be self-conscious about your cellulite, stretch marks, scars, wrinkles. Your body is shabby, chic, distressed. That's hot.